Hey everybody, good morning and welcome back to Getting Stronger on this beautifully overcast uh, Friday morning here in uh, Old Barry, UK. Uh, today I'm working on my shoulders uh, and just a little background. All this year I've really been trying to understand bodybuilding, so I've been doing a lot of workouts that really kind of adopt that approach uh, versus, you know, like CrossFit, gymnastics, obstacle course racing, like Spartan races and things like that. They typically uh, train more movement patterns, right? But in uh, bodybuilding, they really break it down, they isolate and they uh, train segments. So today I'm going to hit the shoulders and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to watch um, a video uh, by a professional bodybuilder named Jeff Nepard. He has some great advice about how to hit those shoulders. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of watch it, then I'm gonna apply uh, his advice, and then I'm gonna come back and give you guys my quick three or four minute uh, you know, review or summary of what I thought about his advice. But anyway, before we get into that, you know what we gotta do? We gotta go get warmed up. So I'll see you guys back in about 15 minutes. That's right, don't cheat the warm up, 15 minutes. Hey everybody, I'm back. Uh, just finished my warm up. I'm feeling really good. And I just finished watching this video by Jeff Nepard. Uh, it turns out he has hundreds of videos talking about shoulder training. Uh, I'm watching the one where he's talking about the overhead press. Uh, and really he's just going over the technique of how to do it properly, but that's not what interested me in this video. What uh, really stood out was he was talking about how uh, varying the movement and doing the movement a little bit differently would actually hit. Uh, your shoulder muscle differently. So you have a deltoid muscle, uh, you have a front uh, head, a side head, and a rear head. It's all the same muscle, the deltoid, but it's just different heads, right? Front, side, rear. Uh, and what he is saying, based on the literature that he has read, the, the research, the trials, whatever, uh, if you want to hit the side uh, deltoid muscle, you are better off using dumbbells, uh, where if you're using a barbell, it tends to hit more of the front. So if you want to hit the front, use a barbell. If you want to hit the side, use the dumbbell. And according to this research, uh, doing these overhead presses standing is better than seated. So uh, the takeaway from this video is uh, when doing the overhead press for your shoulder training, uh, do it standing and mix it up. Do some barbell presses and do some... Um, uh, dumbbell presses so you hit the side. Okay, so now I'm going to take this advice. I'm going to put it into practice. I'm going to go uh, do a shoulder workout and then I'm going to come back uh, and let you guys know what I experienced following this guy's advice. So I'll see you in a little bit.
Okay guys, I'm back. Whew. That was rough. Uh, anyway, quick summary. Uh, did them standing, did them seated. Uh, I could definitely feel it more in my front when I was seated um, compared to when I was standing. Uh, when I was standing, I felt it much more in my side and rear. Uh, so if you really need to hit that side and rear, do them standing. Um, another thing, when I was using the barbell, uh, I could feel it again more towards that front uh, where when I was using the uh, whereas when I was using the dumbbell I felt it more in the side and again in the rear um, so moral of this story uh, the dumbbells uh, the dumbbell overhead press hits the side and the back more where the barbell hits more of the front and a little bit of the side um, so obviously do both we're not developing one part right we're developing all of it so uh, mix it up do some barbells do some dumbbells. Me personally, I love the dumbbells. Uh, the dumbbells are just so much more comfortable. Uh, you know, with a barbell, you're in that fixed position. With a dumbbell, uh, I can come neutral like this. Uh, and for my brother, for instance, my brother has shoulder problems. So being in this position is hard for him. Uh, but he can come here and press all day long. Can't do that with a barbell. Gotta do it with a dumbbell. So I love that flexibility. I love being able to come all the way in and do those Arnold presses. Um, with the dumbbells again you can't do that with the barbell and uh so yeah i think that's probably pretty much it oh and one more thing uh i noticed uh, very clearly that when i was seated i could lift way more than i could when i was uh standing um i have my 10 kg and my 20 kg when i was standing the 20 kg was really hard i could only get about five up uh, really uh, sets of five but when I was seated I was able to do sets of 10 to 12 um, so I guess it's just because uh, when I'm seated I have all that support uh, you know that really strong foundation where when you're standing uh, it's just harder to bear that load anyway um, don't be surprised if uh, when you're seated you're lifting weight but then when you stand you're not able to get nearly as much. Uh, so uh, I guess the bottom line is just vary it up, right? Stand, sit, barbell, dumbbell, right? That's the moral of the story. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks to uh, Jeff Nippard for providing us all this information. I look forward to doing another review on another video uh, sometime soon. Uh, until then, remember as always, Psalms 139 verse 14 tells us that each and every one of us were fearfully and wonderfully made and we came from the hand of our Creator above. Our Heavenly Father loves us and He made us to do remarkable things. So take care of your bodies. Go out there for the rest of this day. Whatever you eat, whatever you drink, and whatever you do, just keep getting stronger. I'll see you back on the next episode.